Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for newcomers. My name is Didi, walking and talking the beautiful beach again here in Phuket, Thailand, guys. Yes, I started on the other part of the beach today. Today, another amazing video, guys. I have some amazing Bitcoin charts, four amazing Bitcoin charts, giving you a trading tip, giving you the sounds of the waves, giving you a travel tip. Also, uh, talking about some news because the IRS is doing something really strange in the United States. And yes, of course, also giving an answer to one of the questions of the followers yesterday, guys. Let's quickly jump into the chart because I know you want to know what the price is going to do. Bam! The first chart today, guys, is this beautiful, beautiful day chart again. Look how we are going sideways. So we had that massive pump last week. You can see that over there. But now we are going sideways. This sideways movement is mostly an indication that there will be a huge breakout. If I would put on the Bitcoin family indicator now, you can see that we are topping out. It's even already giving a short signal there on the top. This doesn't mean that we need to go short because we need to close candles down below that yellow stepping line before we go short on the daily chart, guys. Uh, and still, it's a bull market, so shorting the bull market is never a good idea. It's, bare, it's more easy to long during a bull market. Now, as we can see, we can fall back to the 33,350 level. That's the midline, that's the yellow stepping line. But if we don't close below that, I believe we can do another push all the way up to that beautiful 39K to 40K level. This is the short term view, guys. Let's jump into a beautiful chart. Before I will show you the next chart, guys, I want to share with you that the Bitcoin family signals group is doing pretty nice. Another trade closed with 2% profit, I think brings us now in total this month to around 17 to 18% profit on all the signals that we gave you. I hope you really enjoyed the signals. It's free to join that group. So uh, check the links down below what to do to get free access. But yeah, if you just trade with us and put that long or short there and adjust the stop loss when we say so, etc, 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 you would now have made a minimum of 15% of profits in this very beautiful month for bitcoin then the second chart for today guys is this one this is uh, i found this one on twitter titan of crypto beautiful chart you can see one two three at the bottom one two three and one two three and this the beautiful phases of that bottom area when a blue line is crossing downwards on that red line we get phase one it's the start of the bear market bottom area then when that red line tops out that's the start of phase two you're trying to reverse again into a bull market and then when that red line again crosses that blue line that was a huge wave yes that is the full on of the bull market we won't see another lower low we won't go back again below the low that we created this is the moment that each bull run ever started if you look on this chart look to the look to the period there after 2018 phase one phase two phase three and bam bull market on and look to today we had number one start of that bear market we had number two the bottom of that bear market and we had number three now as well the blue line crossed above that red line this is the bull market full on this doesn't mean that there will, won't be a small retrace or something that can always happen but it does mean you should be buying now don't wait any longer because before you know it we will be above those levels of for example 40k and then you will regret not having bought when i told you around 20k next chart. this chart is showing the price by halving epoch the mvrv score Everyone is always saying, this time is different, this time is different. If we look at the charts, this time is not different at all. We can see that the MVRV on the bottom of the chart is moving just as it moved all the other times, all the other bear and bull markets. If we look to the top charts, we can see that the price against the realized price line is moving exactly the same as it has always moved during these bull markets look at it the white line is now taking distance from that realized price that gray line the red line did the same around this block moment and the blue line did also the same around this block moment 
It is not different this time. It is the same and it all has to do with the Bitcoin blockchain, how it's being built and how the halvings are making sure that every four years the miners need to have a higher Bitcoin price because else they won't be able to break even with the standard cost they have every month from mining Bitcoins. Everyone is now thinking that this bump is because of the spot ETF and because of all the news. I don't believe this. It is not the news. The news comes always out after the beautiful pump. It's not the news that is driving that pump, guys. It's the charts. It's Bitcoin doing what it's always been doing in this part of the cycle of the bull market. Slowly going up towards the halving. And from the halving, we'll get a beautiful huge pump again to the new all-time high. And from the new all-time high to the new Bitcoin top. That's how the charts move. There can be a shitload of negative and positive news, but that is how the charts move, guys. Very simple. And then we have this chart, also a really cool chart. Uh, Bitcoin doubling days per range. So we can see that we spend a shitload of days now between 30 and 65K. That's around 473 days. Uh, between 16 and 30K, we spent almost 1,000 days. Now we can see to the top now that there is a shitload of more of days that we can spend between 65 and a million dollars. And the longer we will be here in this market, the more we will get into this area, areas above 65K, guys. It's very simple. That's just how it works. Very cool charts. Now, pause the video and analyze the charts a little bit more. But I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, it's very important at the moment that you realize, of course, we could go all the way up to 39, 40K even in Bitcoin. If we get another push, we will reach those levels. And of course, there's always the possibility that we come back again to even 32K levels. I don't know if you will get the chance again to buy Bitcoin below 30K. That's still the question. For me, I'm very bullish at the moment. So let's see if we can top up a little bit more. One more push to 40K and then pull back a little bit and to give another beautiful buying opportunity there for you guys. Now, always remember to, to zoom out in Bitcoin look at the bigger picture zoom in the life try to enjoy every single minute of the day guys now let's quickly jump into a beautiful trading tip the trading tip for today guys is self-control self-control you? what does that mean self-control most novice traders need to understand that self-control is the most important part of the beginning of their trading career Having full control on all of your emotions, I think it's one of the most important things when it comes to trading, guys. Just think back of all the trades that you did and all the emotions in your head. Ah, it's going to go higher. Ah, now it's going to crash now. Ah, it's going to go lower. Ah, I will wait for it to dip a little bit lower. Oh shit, I'm in the long, I'm in profit. And maybe it can make more profit. All these emotions, you need to keep them in control. And that's only achieved by self-control. You need to be able to trade according the signals on the market. TA, all the news, all the emotions, set them aside, put them in the fridge. Just trade what the charts are telling you to trade. Very important trading tip for today, self-control is king. Which brings me to a beautiful travel tip, guys. Um, a travel tip that is very handy is that you always need to visit all those touristy stuff during lunchtime. Why around the lunchtime? Because that's the moment that those thousands of tourists arriving with all those buses will go for lunch. They always go for lunch around lunchtime. And that will make it easy for you to go and visit those beautiful touristy things without being in lines to buy a ticket, without being in lines to look to beautiful parts and making beautiful pictures with not too many people on it. So lunchtime, the perfect moment to visit attractions without being disturbed by millions of tourists running around and you being able to pay beautiful pictures at that moment. You can always eat a little bit later. The news for today, guys, is about the IRS. They are now requesting the data of more than 40,000 users on Kraken. Kraken is one of the most reliable, robust, trustable exchanges out there that I've been using since 2017. But still, if I would be living in the US, 
I would really feel fucked. The IRS wants to have all their data and wants to see all the transactions that are bigger than 20K or deposits and withdrawals and bigger than 20K because then people will need to pay tax in the United States on those withdrawals. Now, I really like Kraken, guys. It's one of the best exchanges out there. But this event is showing me that if Kraken would be prepared to hand over all their data to the tax companies, to the IRS in the United States, will other exchanges do this the same for other people all over the world? Like will Bybit, for example, do that for my data to, I don't even know which tax company they should send it. The Netherlands, not there. Portugal, you can do it, but they have 0% tax, you know, but for those people that are living in a country where you need to pay tax on crypto, it shows again the weakness of holding your Bitcoins and trading your Bitcoins on a centralized exchange. And to be very honest, I don't believe that Bybit will do this because Bybit has their company set up completely different than Kraken. Kraken is really US based, even has a banking license. So Bybit is a completely different setup. So I don't believe that Bybit will do that, but you still have the chance that it will do it. And that's why it's very important for you guys to understand that there is also alternatives like decentralized exchanges. And these decentralized exchanges, they don't know who you are because you connect your wallet with that decentralized exchange and by that trade your wallet, your currencies on your wallet. They don't know who the person is behind that wallet. That's, that, that's just your public Ethereum address. And yes, you can make a new one today and nobody will know that's you that made that address and then start to use that address to connect it, for example, to Apex Pro. Apex Pro by far the best decentralized exchange there that is built on the order book model. Which means all the stuff that you can do on Bybit, long orders, short orders, leverage, you can also do on Apex Pro, but you don't need to send your Bitcoins to Apex Pro. You just connect your fully anonymous wallet to Apex Pro and you will give them a little bit of access to be able to trade your tokens on that wallet. And all the profits that you make will directly be in your account, not in their account, in your wallet, in your environment. And that makes it that you have self-custody on your tokens while you're trading in the same way that you were trading on Bybit. You have an order book, you can even put limit orders and you can do whatever you do on Bybit when it comes to trading and leverage trading, also on a decentralized exchange, completely anonymous. So to all the US people out there, if you're having problems with the IRS and all the data, just sign up to Apex Pro with the link down below. That's why I already chose to promote Apex Pro for over a year. I even invested in Apex Pro, guys, because I knew this, one, this was going to be a big deal when it comes to avoid paying tax. I am always looking to that new thing that will solve a problem that in the future will arise. And I already saw, oh shit, in the future, the regulations in the KYC are going to make it very difficult for exchanges to keep the data private. And that's why I invested like almost one and a half year ago now in Apex Pro, and it's up and running and it's making new all-time highs when it comes to volume every week. Apex Pro is one of the fast growing decentralized exchanges that is built on the order book model. So if you want to trade completely anonymous in the United States, then connect your Ethereum wallet just to Apex Pro. You can trade with leverage. It's a really cool exchange. Try it out. The link is down below. So that was the news for today, guys. The IRS now taking the data of 40,000 people in the United States from the exchange Kraken. And also the tip to trade on a decent exchange from now on. Then we come to the question of one of the followers, guys. The question was, Didi, if I'm living in a country where I'm not allowed to have a Bybit debit card or a crypto.com debit card, so a debit card tied to an exchange, and where there is no possibility to off-ramp into banks, what should then the solution be? I don't think you will have many solutions. The only thing that you can do is an OTC deal, which means you need to meet someone else in your country that is willing to buy or sell your Bitcoins for cash. That's one solution. And the second solution is, nobody is stopping you from traveling all over the world with your Bitcoins. So if you would travel to a country that does allow 
for example, OTC deals, or that does allow, for example, to buy uh, real estate with Bitcoin, or that does allow to buy anything else with uh, Bitcoin, then you can always fly to that country and buy that real estate over there. Let's take, for example, Thailand. If you fly here to Thailand, there is a lot of real estate for sale, apartments, villas, that you can directly pay with Bitcoin. If you want to keep it in Europe, fly to Spain. There is a lot of real estate for sale that you can directly pay with Bitcoin as well. So that's certain. So that is a certain way of cashing out as well. Because the moment you buy real estate and you keep it for one year and you sell it, then they are allowed to put that money on your bank again. If you want to have that money on the bank, I would never put it on the bank. I would keep it beautifully in my crypto wallet. But that's the only solution. Either that or you need to go and live in another country like we did, for example, Portugal. We became a resident over there, by that we got an address, and by that address you can apply again for all those debit cards. But the most simple way, of course, is OTC deals, where you sell your Bitcoins for cash or buy Bitcoins with cash by meeting other people at beautiful meetup places, like for example Bam Bam Beach in Portugal, where that was possible as well. Also a good place to start is all the meetups all over the world, like the crypto meetups. There is always people there that are willing to exchange Bitcoin for cash or to exchange cash for Bitcoin. So we are a big community. We should all help each other. And the moment we would create a beautiful network of all people helping each other that like we had, like localbitcoins.com. But yeah, that was all regulated in KYC. Now we need a decentralized version of that. Then it would always be able for everyone everywhere in the world to exchange Bitcoins for cash or cash for Bitcoins. That was the answer to that question. Turning around for the last part of the video, guys, the last part is a life lesson. And yes, I love to share all these life lessons because these lessons also helped me in all the decisions that I made in the last couple of years, guys. And the life lesson for today is a very beautiful one. Move out of your comfort zone. If you want to grow as a person, you need to move out of your comfort zone. You need to feel awkward when you're trying something new. That's not a bad feeling, that's a good feeling. That's the proof that you're moving out of your comfort zone. If you always feel comfortable, you will not grow personally. You need to step outside of your comfort zone to be growing into that new version of you that you want to be. Because else you stay the person that you are if you are tied to that comfort zone. Always be open to try new things and it's good to feel awkward. Let go of that comfort zone. Step into that new comfort zone. The one that you want to be. That's the life lesson for today. If you want to change your life, first, you need to take action. Second, you don't need to be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. And three, you need to then be happy with that new situation that you created for yourself. And if you're unhappy with that new situation, you can always change back to the situation that it was before. But it all has to do with fear, and it all has to do with letting go, and it all has to do with stepping outside of your comfort zone. So the life lesson for today is, try it, step outside of your comfort zone today, try to feel awkward one moment for today. And that was really everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and yes, you're distracted again, She's running that way, then catch her on camera, and then she turns around. I have her on this way. That's the law of attraction, guys. That's the law of attraction working for you guys there. Because you're watching my videos every day. That's the thank you. Again, something beautiful on the back. <laughs> it wasn't wearing a thong, though. Now, <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed the video, you guys. Give it a big thumbs up, and see you tomorrow again. Bam.